Welcome back to Hacking EdTech for Student Inclusion. Today, we will be looking at how to utilize the website EdPuzzle to design effective and engaging asynchronous lessons for your students. First, let's review some of the essential questions that can be answered using EdPuzzle. What are multiple ways you are setting up an environment and creating activities to engage and include all students? How are you providing student choice to express and demonstrate their knowledge in multiple ways? And remember that these are both essential questions that are taken out of UDL or Universal Design for Learning that EdTech Puzzle can help us satisfy. EdPuzzle is a tool that allows educators to select videos that are usually from YouTube and customize them by adding checkpoint style and checks for understanding. As you can see, EdPuzzle has many popular channels. EdPuzzle has YouTube, Khan Academy, National Geographic, TED Talks, and many other crash courses. While EdPuzzle has an extensive collection of videos with pre-made questions, these videos can come from any number of users and quality is not necessarily granted. We recommend that you add your own questions which only adds a few minutes to the setup process. You will want to quickly create a class to help organize your students. And this is accomplished by simply sending a link to students in a certain class period or section. As you can see, we click here, add a new class, of course. As you can see, it says name. We were gonna put in for our example, tutorial class. And as you can see, it tells you what type of grade level you're working with. So if you're a first grade teacher, second grade teacher, third and beyond, we're going to pick fourth grade. And we're going to make sure that this tutorial class is centered on social studies. Next, you are ready to select your video. As you can see, there are numerous high quality channels again that you can filter your search. So since we are doing a tutorial in a social studies class, we're gonna go ahead and pick National Geographic. You then, by then, you can go into National Geographic, type your particular topic, and you can watch an amazing video that is not too short or not too long. Five to 10 minutes is probably an ideal length to look for. This way, it's worth the time that you're putting into it. But it's not so long that students are going to be worn out just by watching the video. So you can see here, I have selected National Geographic. And now I'm gonna move forward into looking at other options. So we can go ahead and get out of that. We picked Ancient Greek 101. National Geographic is an amazing uh, universal tool that shows you different variations that can be noted to help your students learn about ancient history. Absolutely amazing. Another function of EdPuzzle is voiceover. We ask and we recommend that you don't use that unless you're really interested in because it has a lot of mixed results. As you can see, here we have multiple choice, open end, um, we have curriculum, my contact, 
this space can hold multiple lenses to help your students to engage and filter out videos. Sometimes YouTube can have a lot of different unnecessary videos. So what Edpuzzle has done, it has allowed you to filter out content curation videos that can get to the bottom of what your students or your curriculum wants. So from student advice to educational talks or how they study education, there are videos that can help you engage. Overall, Edpuzzle is a great way to design an effective, engaging, asynchronous lesson for your students that can be used as homework or for day-to-day -day live instruction. We are now living in a digital tech space, and this space allows you to preview videos for your class so you don't have to do online lessons. This gives you another opportunity to engage your students in the classroom. So take some time to explore Edpuzzle. We encourage you to try these videos with your students.